Y'all thought that the leaks were done yesterday? No, 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 no. Anime industry in meltdown with ReZero Season 3 leaked in full and da dan da dan da dan as well. Chibi, give it to me. Give it to me. Someone's going to prison. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At this point, with what's been happening for the last 24 or so hours Ooh. in the anime community, someone definitely is about to not just lose their... First time fucking message. Have you not uploaded the ReZero reaction to your Patreon? It's just like... Bro, are you so stupid that you can't even like figure out, like literally just go to Patreon as just, just click, you're literally asking me about it when you could do this and now I have to do this shit for your dumb ass. What does this say? You can see every goddamn video that's posted. Your first message, I gotta time you out for this one. I already know that the stupidity of your first message is already gonna piss me off with your next messages. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. Like, this, like everything is available for you. Everything is public. You can see everything. Everything I'm reacting to, it's just there. But you can't even use your brain. You can't. So I have to teach you how to do it and then I have to make content out of you. Your job, but they are about to just serve a very long time in prison. Okay. Because it yesterday's leaks were already bad. I made literally a video talking about it. But the leaks have gotten even worse. And it has continued to get worse, and it's potentially going to get even more worse as the day goes on. And so, like, I wonder what's going on right now. I wonder if there's, like, a hacker, Mr. Hackerman from Netflix side. And they've got, like, hostages, right? And the hostages are the anime episodes in October. <laughs> you have another day to give me all this money, or Adi Furata Season 3. I'ma upload that shit, too. And the Japanese will be like, <laughs> You know what? We don't care. Because Adi Fureta right now, we put less effort into this bullshit. You're going to see more CGI bullshit. Go ahead, leak Adi Fureta. I don't care. So let's cover what has happened so far. So yesterday, the first yeah. three episodes of Dawn to Dawn's anime that is set to air in the beginning of October, aka the next anime season, which is two months from now, okay? Yep. Two months from now, the first three episodes got leaked. On top of that, we also had the first two episodes of Rama One Half's remake yep. anime that is being done by Studio Mappa and the also movie also got leaked in full. On top of that as well, uh, Mononoke's movie that also yeah. is a full anime film got leaked too. And it's in And that was yesterday, I think, or a little bit before, but that was like yesterday news. And now I woke up and I was like, holy shit, so much more got pumped out. Entirety. And Fast forwarding to today, episodes 4 through 6 of Dawn to Dawn has also been fully leaked. I hear 6 to 12 is coming. I hear, like, phase 3, bro. Phase 3 by the end of this week. Alongside of the Terminator anime fully leaked. Yes, the full series of the Terminator anime oh leaked my God. in full. And now, with more information, ReZero... Season 3, episode oh. 1, has now leaked as well. No! Well, actually. Actually. Because I'm farming ReZero right now, and we timed it perfectly in time for October release, this will simply get more people searching for ReZero online. And this is actually way better for me. Right? More people search for ReZero, more potential of people finding ReZero content, recommendation systems picks up on that. This is actually not bad at all for me. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. This is a disaster, man. Someone is not just getting fired. Like I said, someone's going to prison. I don't know if it's someone, bro. I think it may be many people. I think it's a whole team. I don't know. There may be a sacrificial goat. It's going to be a very interesting scenario as we see this, you know, uh, unfold before us. And I, it's, I don't think it's over yet, man. I think it's going to get even worse and worse. The fact that there is not just one. Am I the leak? Yes. You got me. You got me, guys. I, as a guy with barely fucking 20k subs on YouTube, that gets barely fucking 1,000 views on video, I got the connections to Netflix. I called my uncle who works at Netflix, and I told him, listen, it's time to release all the fucking Reezer episodes and dun-dun-dun, fuck it. 
Call up the big guns. That's right. It was me. I am the leaker known as 4chan. One series or even two, but like, let's see here. Ranma, Don to Don, ReZero, the movie, and also, uh, what's the other one that's slipping my mind right now? Oh, yeah, Terminator. Five anime leaked. Mm -hmm. Two. Also, ReZero is just French, right? But it doesn't matter. People will... The pirates will figure out a way to get the actual subs out pretty soon. Plus, months prior to its official release... Yeah. ...is next level bad. Like, we all think leaks from manga getting a chapter a few days early is bad, and Japan reacts like they do already. They go yeah. nuclear about Yeah, they go crazy. Shueisha does not fuck around with, like, One Piece chapters getting leaked. Like, they crack down hard. They pursue legal action. Nah, this is full-on anime episodes, bro. Two months out for incredibly hyped-up shows. Like, this is no joke at this point. About that stuff, imagine how Japan right now, the staff, the studios, the production committee, and everybody oh, over there right now in Japan is feeling about this news that continues to leak, and it just continues to happen. Because at this current time, there is rumors, and I'm just going to say, once again, this is rumors. Yeah, 6 to 12, phase 3. Mr. President, a third building has been hit. Rumored, but apparently episode 7 through 12 of Dawn to Dawn is going to leak in yeah. full today as well. Yeah. Now, once again, this is not confirmed, but just... Ju That's fucked! And remember last video, we had a conspiracy theory saying like, you know what? Maybe just because the first episode and the opening were leaked, someone did that shit internally in order to get some sort of pre-hype engagement before they go to October. Most likely not the case. Not with the full season potentially being leaked, hell no. There is no conspiracy theory of Netflix colluding with the Japanese and trying to, you know, create uh, artificial hype. No, this is just a disaster. Judging by what has been ongoing now with all these leaks, all these leaks that are coming out, it's probably going to happen. Yeah. And if that is indeed the case, that is literally the... Imagine if the anime had to be postponed for some reason. You know what? I'm gonna say it right now. I hope ReZero gets postponed. Yep. I hope it gets delayed until winter 2025. Because I know that I am going to be much bigger in winter 2025 compared to now. And I can just farm even harder, get more out of ReZero if they delay this shit. Uh-huh. Me being the content fucking fiend, that is the best possible outcome. Where the animes that are just like huge like this, like ReZero for example, gets fucking delayed so I can just build and stall and just like <laughs> go at it even bigger later. Entirety of Dawn to Dawn all out at once. Obviously crap quality, 360p quality, but it doesn't change the fact the entire anime is out when it was you know set to air in October and it was going to end airing in December of this year. Can you imagine how much of a disaster that is alone? That's not including the other stuff. So it's just like, yikes. Like, they're straight up yikes. This is really bad. Like, let me let me talk about that for a second, okay? So I know everybody at first glance, they're going to look at these leaks and be like, oh, yeah. this is cool. You know, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch the ReZero episode. Oh, I'm going to sit Yeah, I think for the consumer, uh, most of the consumers don't give a fuck. Most of the normies have no understanding of how the production of these things work behind the scenes. They just want the content. They got it early. Hype. We get to watch ReZero early. We go at the full down the done. Great. But this is more of a drama between corporations, right? The consumers don't really get affected. Well, that's not really the case. Because whatever happens with the legal case with the corporations here could determine how the consumers were going to be given anime in the first place. So this is going to be very interesting to see sit down and I'm going to watch all the episodes of Don to Don. I'm going to sit down, watch all the Terminator anime, etc, etc. The problem here is, is that these episodes are just, once again, they're not, they're not properly officially released, but they're yep. also in such low quality that it's not what the full experience was meant to be, because... Oh yeah, but there's, it's crazy because like, uh, there's some people that are like, nah bro, you need to watch this shit in the IMAX theater, surround sound. You want to watch Dune the proper way, you got to go watch it in theaters, right? There's super hardcore people like that, but there's also even more people who do not give a fuck. They will watch a fucking cam quality of a movie that got leaked because some random Brazilian dude went into the theater and recorded it with this Nokia flip phone, which is separated into seven different parts with some parts missing, but they don't care. They'll still eat that shit up.
You know what I mean? So like the low quality thing, I'm not going to touch any of this shit, right? We're going to take this the right way. We're going to slowly drift feed ReZero until the official launch. But interesting that people will be willing to, you know, uh, ruin their first time experience by watching in shit quality. Most of them from what I can understand. Yeah, the ReZero right now is 1080p right over here. We're talk probably talking about Don to Don right now. They're 360p. I know the ReZero leak apparently it's actually really good quality, but it has like French subs. So... Yeah, I'll talk about that in a second, but, uh... Give him a day. One day, multiple pirate teams will give a fucking English version out. Um, the point of the matter is, is that, uh, all the anime that has been released is basically in very poor quality, or not to the standard quality. It Actually, why did it get leaked in French subs first? What does that imply? Well, my understanding is when the leaks happened... I'm not sure where they get the raw version, but it does get uploaded to torrent sites, meaning the French team was much faster. An expo happened in Paris. Japan Expo 2024 in Paris. Mmm. Okay, okay. We got more data now. Okay. It was a French expo that was canceled? That's interesting. So I thought that maybe, you know, French pirates, you know, the French pirates are more uh, hustling. They're just locked in on the grind compared to any other pirates online, but interesting. At all. And you gotta imagine how disheartening this is to the animators over there in Japan that, you know, work all day long and they sometimes fall asleep at their desk, killing themselves basically. Work sometimes they can't even watch. And here's the saddest thing. And this is the example I gave you for Jujutsu Kaisen during the height of MAPPA working their workers to the fucking bone. what I say? I said, if Jujutsu Kaisen actually has the employees puts the like, stands on business and says, we're not going to work under these conditions anymore, you can fuck yourselves and they go out and JJK goes on hiatus, do you think that the mass of consumers, the people that watch this shit, are going to get mad at MAPPA for not having the proper work-life balance? Or the workers? Or do you think that they're just going to get mad at just the animators? Calling them lazy fucks, right? I don't think most of the common anime watchers have any empathy towards the people that makes the anime. They just want the product. And this is the case in anything where a consumer is involved. They don't give a shit, like, about how it was made, what it took to be made. Just give me a good product is most likely the mindset of the masses that watch working so hard and then they find out that the something they've poured hundreds upon hundreds of hours into got leaked early and it's just it's going to ruin the overall premiere of all of these different shows you can imagine the devastation in an animator's heart from that but for sure but the monkeys cannot empathize because they just do not care it's not just that this is going to affect the viewership and the cells of these series and let me that is going to be interesting right and i gave that example with dan dan last night where I was like, okay, they're going to have like this huge premiere, episode one. But if that shit gets leaked early, then the built up hype kind of dies down. Now, how many people actually goes out of their way to like watch this shit on different sites? I was actually shocked to find out that most people are so illiterate, technologically illiterate. They don't even know what a torrent is. The best they could do is fucking type on Google search engine and find a random streaming site. But even then, most people are bound by Netflix and just like actual subscription services. And they don't use the internet to find, you know, these episodes. Like, it's crazy to me when people spend money on Netflix to get a specific like catalog of shows when they could literally just Google the fucking title and have 10 different search results that shows the exact same product but for free on different sites. But most people just don't go that way. Let me explain why this is a thing, okay? For one, let's be blunt here. I, I want to give ReZero as a good example here. Let's say you've watched the first episode of ReZero that has now been leaked entirely. I haven't seen it yet myself, I'm going to be honest with you. But let's say you sit down and you watch it, okay? Sure. You're going to probably be inclined to not watch it again when it does air. You're going to... Yeah, of course not. Most people that watch this first, they're not going to bother watching it again. But I still think that the amount of people that's going to be doing that is insignificant to the population that are still going to be waiting for the official release simply because of the technological illiteracy. To probably wait until episode two of season two airs, or season three airs, I mean. And th that's about it. So the premiere of ReZero's overall viewership is definitely going to dwindle. That's going to be the average person's viewpoint. For instance, like 
Yeah, I think that it will definitely be lower than a situation where it didn't get leaked. Like, they're going to watch the first episode early since it's out, and then they're going to wait till episode two. And that's going to hurt. That's going to really hurt a lot of viewers and potential money that can be made for the series. Yeah. And this goes into, like, Dawn to Dawn, Terminator, etc. Just imagine the devastation to Dawn to Dawn. If episode seven and 12 do, like, seven fruit. That's crazy. Like, one episode being released early, that's already kind of an L for ReZero, right? Not for ReZero, but just like the whole situation of us trying to enjoy it. Because it's like, it's supposed to be like a 90 minute premiere or something, right? Or I'm not sure how long it is, but it's definitely not the standard episode length. Don to Don is about to get its entire season leaked, dude. This shit's gonna be fucking... Now, I'm getting pissed off. And why am I getting pissed off? Because I'm gonna give you... A fucking example of JoJo's. The batch releases of JoJo's since part 6, I think is what killed the JoJo's hype. It wasn't, you know, the content of Stone Ocean. I think it's the release format that kills the hype. And now, you're gonna fucking ruin Don the Don and release the entire batch? Motherfucker. Now I am getting impacted. Now, because I'm such an egotistical, narcissistic, uh, what's the word? Um, self-centered animal. Now, because the batch release is going to happen, the hype is going to die down when October releases. Now it's impacting me. Fuck Netflix. <laughs> Jokes aside, I wonder how this will impact Dan Dan viewership in October if the seasons all gets released in a batch. Because I think that a lot of the anime viewing culture and the community bonding experience and having fun is not just about watching every episode in one go. It's about having something good to look forward to every week. We get a Roche Today episode today. We talk about it. Hype. It's so fun. Then throughout until the next week, right? More people are talking about Roche Today and the anticipation builds up and you have something good to look forward to. Just that aspect alone is half the fun, bro. So it's kind of sad to see this bullshit happen. But then again, Netflix still fucking releases batch releases, right? I'm not sure if they're stopping doing that, but I hate that format. Crew 12 come out today for Dawn to Dawn. That is the entire anime. That means that overall discussion of the show is potentially going to be so much lower than yeah. what it actually would be releasing on a weekly basis because obviously the whole series is out. People are going to watch it potentially in one sitting, even if it's low quality, and that's about it. They're going to go on and do their own thing. That is extremely sad. And Dawn to Dawn has definitely been built up to be one of the biggest shows of the year alongside of ReZero, and the fact that it's being done like this is just truly heartbreaking, honestly. It's just extremely sad it really is freaking sad um so overall these leaks man the the ramifications as i said i don't really know what's gonna happen i know someone's probably going to prison oh i don't think it's gonna be a single person bro i think it could be multiple people oh yeah there's no way at this point the amount of money that not just one studio but a bunch of studios have lost at this point probably ranges into maybe millions maybe even hundreds of millions at this point because of just these early leaks and i just oh my goodness someone is definitely going to prison there, there is just no way because of just the amount of money loss at this point now another thing i do want to point out is is that what i think is going to happen now that this has clearly happened and it's a huge problem this is probably going to affect netflix crunchyroll and viz media's overall interaction Good. <laughs> Fuck them all. ...with Japanese studios in Japan, and hear me out on this one. So, most of the leaks that have come out to- What's my opinion on the batch release from a reactor perspective? It's fucking stupid, I already said it. Batch release ruins all the hype. That's why JoJo's reaction's viewership on fucking part five. Part six is also ass, bro. It's, it's all about how much are people looking for that content, you know, day after day. Batch release just kills the hype. And now it, it, does, it doesn't matter if it's a new series, it sucks. I don't really give a fuck if it's a batch release and people want to watch it now in the community poll. It does, that, that, we don't have to worry about the time constraint there. But in terms of new trending shows, it definitely sucks. Dude, the Terminator stuff, Dawn to Dawn and Rama and all that is definitely associated with Netflix. According to information I was able to pick up, apparently thanks to the overall transfer of the overall series, like Dawn to Dawn, Rama and all that to Netflix, when they were trying to dub it or whatever, when they got the tapes, the early tapes to be able to work on it, Apparently, somewhere in between that, information got out and the episodes got leaked. Now, this isn't 100% confirmed, but that's the information I can kind of gather up. That's how the leaks happen, at least for Ranma, Don to Don, and also the Mononoke movie and stuff. But um, when it comes to ReZero, it's a completely different circumstance. It is not affiliated with Netflix. It is actually a French 
pre-screening Expo. event that happened, and uh, someone, a part of that event, leaked the episode out. Oh. So that's probably easy to trace. That's definitely going to be easy to figure out who probably did that one. It's most likely that ReZero, the rest of the season, will not get leaked compared to Dan Dan. Completely different scenarios. One is from an expo, the other is from just, you know, inside from Netflix. But uh, the point of the matter is, is that the ReZero leak is definitely not associated with Netflix, at least from my current understanding. It is still bad overall. This is really bad because this means that there is just multiple leaks happening that's not even just affiliated with Netflix. It's just affiliated with these companies gaining these products from Japan and not knowing how to not leak them so to speak so i feel like this is going to have a radical effect going forward most likely for japan what would they do just cancel expos from now on that's i'm not sure that's definitely a, a very absolute decision to make that's that's too much right and and how they handle these events uh, you know pre-screening events etc i mean to be fair i'm not the biggest fan of pre-screening events for like series like re-zero etc hear me out i feel like it's kind of like wow you, uh, people are getting to pay early access so basically you're paying early access to go watch it early in a convention i mean if you got the disposable income, who am I to judge? Sorry about that. Who am I to judge, you know, how you enjoy it, but eh, I, I don't know. I'm indifferent about it. To speak to watch an episode for, like, a show, and then, like, uh, you have to wait, like, four months to like, continue it or something. I'm not a big fan of that. You can call me salty or whatever, but I'm not a big fan of pre-screening events because, also, it leads to a lot of danger of spoilers and, obviously, what's going on right here. True. So, I'm not a fan of that. So, hopefully, maybe this might have Japan crack down a little bit on pre-screening events. But getting into the Netflix stuff, Netflix is definitely in hot water. There is no way they're not in hot water at this point. At this current time, I don't think there's been any official, like, announcement or discussion or, like, an acknowledgement of what is going on at this point. If there is, do let me know in the comments below. But at this current time, there has been no official confirmation of everything. And I am curious to see what Japan, what Netflix, and all these other studios and animators are saying about this situation right now. Now, to... They're probably saying fucking dumbass monkey gaijins. How could they possibly let this happen? Be completely blunt here. I'm not going to link to any of this stuff, and I'm probably not going to cover like the actual content within it for instance like let's say hypothetically i'm not saying i am hypothetically <laughs> yeah to watch yeah three zero season three episode one yeah what would happen episode early i'm not going to probably make a review video on it i'm going to wait until the episode comes out i would definitely not like if if there's any reaction channels that think that they're slick Thinking like, oh, you're gonna get the early, you know, Burgess to War mentality and you react to ReZero or Dan 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 before it releases. Fuck around and find out. I am definitely not gonna do it. It is not worth. It is. <laughs> like, if, 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 if you really think that you're, you're gonna make it on YouTube because you try to cover this shit early, listen, man. That's like. <sighs> Ooh, I don't know if they would take legal action, but. I think of all things that they would take legal action, this is something that they would crack down on, yes. Before I talk about it, I, I'm just going to be blunt. And I'm definitely not giving out leaks or, or links. Correction, links. Yeah, no links allowed, right? We're just going to show a screenshot of a website that may have it, the torrent. <laughs> links to any of this stuff and telling you what the website name is or anything. <laughs> because obviously, I don't want... <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm just. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Myself safe as well, but it's, it's basically you know ask and again, don't be fucking dumb and ask for fucking names like this in chat, okay? Like you are literally acting as a fucking undercover cop going into school saying, "Hello, fellow teenagers. Where do I buy the weed? Who's the weed man at? Like, just shut the fuck up. Find it out yourself." But uh, with that being said, yeah. Got even worse. It is a full-blown meltdown right now in the anime industry, and this it might get even worse today if the last half of Dawn to Dawn does leak out. That's right. Just remember, guys, this is phase two right now. Phase three will happen, most likely, and we will be there to farm it. Thank you, Chibi, for the update. Guys, please, go to Chibi. Go give him a like and sub to his channel if you haven't. And I will see you on phase three.